Now, also, close your hand. When you hit the ball here, right. you want to be seeing the ball well when you hit it. Okay. You're about to hit it. It's impossible to actually see the impact on the string and leave. Your home and I can't catch that. But you can be seeing the ball up until the split second before it hits the ball the back. And, and you're facing that way, so look that way. If you have to turn your head to see the ball here, how much do you have to turn your head? Just a little bit. So when you're playing, you're turning your head a little and turning back, turning a little bit, turning back. Yeah, if you go ahead right? here, yeah. how much are you going to have to turn yeah, you your head? Turn all your head all the way back here. Yeah. Good luck right. finding <laughs> that ball. Uh -huh. So for the human eye, okay. as the ball comes as a round yellow thing, round yellow thing, round yellow thing, round yellow thing, and you're hitting it back, you're hitting that round yellow thing. But for the human eye, this round yellow thing, when it gets to about here, it turns into a blur. Right. You can't see the ball when it's going right by you. We can't capture it, it's too fast. Okay. So then when you're hitting here, it's like you're hitting that blur. You're not really right. seeing the ball when you're about to hit it. Okay. Also, human curiosity. You're curious to see the result of your actions day by day on anything you do. Nobody does something, and I'll check on it later. We want to see the result. Right. Yeah, we'll Any action. If you, you do something, what did come out out of it, right? So now you're going to hit the ball. As you're about to hit it, you already can't wait to see if it's going to work right. out or not. So, when you're about to hit, most times, if you combine the fact that the shoulder's turning, and above the shoulder is the neck and the head, therefore if the shoulder's turning, your head has a tendency to turn together. Plus the human curiosity of seeing where it's going. You're hitting the ball, the blur, and not even looking at the blur, because you're already checking over there to see where your shot's going. Now, if you hit the ball in front, much as you can see it, but hitting it in front, the curiosity of where you're going, almost like you don't need to look over there to see it, because as you're hitting, the ball comes out and you're already checking where it's going. So it's a funny thing that the golfers, even though their ball is just sitting still there, they know to not move their head. And we all tennis players, they have the ball moving, it's not even sitting still. With the ball moving, we should even more stay with it, right? And we tend to look away. Looking away with a ball that's sitting still is already hard to hit. Looking away with a ball that's moving, it's way harder. You gotta keep your head still. So you have to have your head be independent from your body. So like when you're rotating your shoulders, your, your neck doesn't turn. See? Because if, if I just stand here, and you tell me, turn that way. My nature is to do this. Turn my shoulder, neck connected to the shoulder, head connected to the neck. I turn the shoulder, neck, and head, everything goes together. Unless I tell myself not to do that and then do this. See what I mean? Now I'm turning my shoulder, my head stays still. It's not natural for me. It feels weird here. My voice box changes. Everything changes. Not natural. This is not. This is not. I gotta condition this. I gotta condition myself to turn. So that's an exercise that you can do to keep your head still. You can just rotate your shoulder around like this, keeping your head in the same position. Right? Now, let's get to your stroke here. You got, you got a few of these ideas yeah, flowing in your sense. mind? You don't have to remember them all. You won't. But it's like I'm trying to plant the seeds in your garden. And then if you go water it and uh -huh. put fertilizer on it, then they come out as soon as makes sense. So, yeah. It's making sense so yeah. far. So we wanna we wanna hit the ball in front, as you already mentioned you saw because right. we wanna have the impact here. Right. And also because you can see the ball well. Right. I don't have okay. to move my head to see it. Right. Another thing you're gonna notice that you're doing here, look at my head. How much has my head turned so far? Now look at my head again. Now look at my head. So my head is not doing much. Train your head to stay still when you're hitting. You're going to see, whoa, I'm hitting the ball in the alley without having to look in the alley. I think it can be done at all. <laughs> <laughs> it can be done. Once you to end, then your brain is tickled like, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to pursue this now because then you want it, you know. But until you prove to yourself that you can do it once, 
You're always going to be going back to your old safe ways that has been there for you all this time in battle and gotten you, you know, what it's gotten you so far. Coomber, forehand side view now. Stabilize our feet when you hit it. Lift your arm a little further on the ball. It's no good. Very nice, Chris. Guys, I want to hit some here, see if I can demonstrate this. 